he was telling me like, oh, I was working in later today. You'll get in the late afternoon. I'm like, uh, I had a 5 a.m. appointment and you got here at six, so. The re updated, man, I'm sorry. That's why I was trying to figure out. Uh, if that was the right number? And they told you the truck was broken down? I heard you say that to him. You said something about a 5 a.m. truck was broke down. Well, I didn't no. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't hear you say that. I thought they were telling that. Yeah, so you, you 5 a.m. Uh, when you, you called that number that was up there? Mm -mm. No? No. So there was people still working, but they said wait till the morning, people. Like they were working. I got here last night like at 9. Oh. They were still loading the NFI trucks and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. He, he was busy. Yeah, he said just wait yeah, till the morning. He was busy. He was busy last night. But still, uh, you had a 5 a.m. appointment. And you should have called that number. Okay. That's up on the on the door, so they could have got somebody down here and unloaded you. Okay. You know. Sorry, I was waiting for somebody to show up. You know. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you were here when I got here this morning at six. So, but but I was trying to figure out what's going on. So I said, let me wake him up. All right. Thank you. All right, man. So when that guy pull out, back in that okay. same Thank you. Matter of fact, take that door right there. The first one, okay. Right there. Don't use, don't use those blocks. Okay. Don't use those blocks. What does that mean? Um, this guy right here was about to tell me that I'm not getting unloaded today, calling all kinds of people. <laughs> and it was unfortunate that right before he came to the truck, my uh, I hit update on my phone for my. Um, it's an iOS phone, it's an Apple, so <laughs> I couldn't go into my phone while he was talking to me all the time, but he was telling me I'm gonna have to like wait for the end of the day until everyone else is done. Because the number he see on my saw on my BOLs didn't match his uh, his number. He was he's not in a good mood, so if you come here, he's getting fed up. He said he's getting fed up with all the uh, trucks that are coming in here. So I understand it, but um, I was sitting here at the front side of the gate since nine o'clock last night and they were on, they were loading trucks last night and they all just told me like you heard him say um, just wait for the morning crew. I said, okay. So, and then he got here at, at six and expected me to call a phone number, not just get him. So, oh, I see what he's saying. There's blocks on the ground. So I got to get out and grab him. Not, not a, he's a little grouchy this morning. So just yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It, and uh, that'll help you get unloaded. <laughs> but I, I wish I could have recorded the um, stuff he was telling me. I was like, oh, wow. He's pretty much telling me I'm going to just go wait here all day until he's done with everybody else. I'm like, okay. I would like to get him up. Looks like it's gonna work out. After I got um, my phone to work again, <laughs> the number that was on my phone was the one that he recognized. So it all is gonna be okay. They put these blocks on the ground like this for um, box trucks and stuff to raise them up to, to match the height of the door. So that's what he's talking about when he said, don't use those blocks. Okay. Get these out the way. Right. Just put them a little off the side for them. There we go. Let's get in that door. Oh, we have to get those um, cutters for that seal. Let's see where they're at. Those are all cans. We have those Bud Lights right there. So many cans. We got the cutters again. It only took him about 10 minutes to unload him and he just took the first one off of my truck. So he's just supposed to be having a really bad morning. I don't know what's going on with the, uh, he was telling me like, I'll just work in later today. You'll get in the late afternoon. I'm like, uh, I had a 5 a.m. appointment and you got here at six. So whatever, bad day. Teasing and for him. Hopefully has a better day. And uh, let's look for some loads here in Jacksonville. So let's go over some loads. Let's start with Convoy on the top left. Um, zero things within 100 miles today of uh, Jacksonville. They've been really slack and I don't know what they're doing, but if you scroll down a little bit, it'll say, um, they got something for tomorrow, but it'll say at the bottom over uh, 200 miles. Then they got some stuff out of Savannah. Still not that great because you're going further down in, into Florida for 1200. Cartersville for 900, uh, that's decent, but not great, so let's go to J.B. Hunt. And they, for Jacksonville, are always re-updated. They have one load to Illinois for dang, dang near a little over a dollar a mile. Then they got one tomorrow going right by my house, but that's tomorrow. 
So one load out of Jacksonville today for J.B. Hunt. Not great. I'll go to TQL. I'll show you TQL, but I'm not really going to bid on anything. TQL, is, for me, is a broker that I'll use if freight is not that strong where I'm at. If it's, or if I haven't found anything, it's getting towards the end of the day, I'll start looking at them. Because it seems they have uh, always have a problem or some kind of misleading information uh, let out, like one or two drops. So that's the last ditch ever. But they do have some stuff. Uber Freight, they got some stuff out of... Uh, Jacksonville, but it's all going back down into Florida mostly for not too good of rates. So you're just getting further and further deadhead back out, and you're 600 bucks. It's not great. Try and get a thousand to Tampa or, or 1200 from Jacksonville um, or more, 1500. Melbourne, there you go, Vera Beach. Uh, those are decent, but you got to go back up. To, now they're looking at Savannah, so you got 100 miles of deadhead back up there, which is what I'm going to do anyways. But I'm just showing you guys the Jacksonville market. But Savannah is definitely where you want to get out to if you come into Florida. Jacksonville will have some stuff, but you can double your money. At least get a quarter or 30% more by going to Savannah. Um, even more if you go past Savannah and Charleston and come back towards South Carolina. Or go up and towards Atlanta. Okay, let's check out Coyote. They've, Coyote's been having a lot of loads lately. Right here on the eastern seaboard. So, Milwaukee, uh, it's a lot a lot of miles for $1,700. Uh, but if you want to get up there, you can. Jacksonville, no bid on it. They want you to bid or email them. That Yuli to East Anoli, that's kind of by my house. I might look at that one, but it's 44,000 pounds. Elton and Jacksonville, that's a short run right there for 600. Not too bad if you were down there. Uh, but it delivered next day, so you'd waste a day. And then they're getting into Savannah. Midway is uh, just south of Savannah. Raleigh for 1,000. you got to bump that up. Bump those numbers up. Um, keep going up. Come on, what happened? There we go. <laughs> I must have had a pause on my phone. Nashville, Battleboro. Yeah, they got some stuff getting out. But these are all starting points, guys. These are all numbers that you just you negotiate on. And this is a CH Robinson's app to show you kind of a map. Some loads, but um, 19 loads right there. Nine right off by the coast. Uh, Fernando Beach is kind of right by that naval base, a little south of it. Albany and The Rock, those are on the... Uh, uh, eastern side going towards Atlanta, or sorry, western side, up 75, so you'd cross over uh, St. Petersburg, Illinois, or St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, and then up into Tennessee, it's going to be heavy, and those are heavy loads too, and then that right there, that, what is that, 1200, or 1020 on Fernandia to Kingsport, 44,000 pounds, and that Kingsport is way up in those Tennessee mountains, so that's going to be beating the heck out of your fuel mileage, and beating the heck out of your drivetrain, your U-joints, your transmission, your rear end, and your engine, so take that into account, and those are the low boards to look at, guys. You got that guy still waiting, huh? One more? He's got uh, trucks coming in all day? Uh, no, he got a... Uh, he, he got uh, a bill just like yo. One that doesn't have numbers? He doesn't. See, y'all got to tell y'all dispatcher to match this bill of late number with, that number with your appointment. Okay. See, he, fortunately, being you hadn't already went through it. Mm -hmm. So when he brought me his bill, I say, all right, you got another number in your phone. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. So, Same and, thing. and then the next time you come, if you come in early in the morning yeah. like that, yeah. there's two phone numbers on that door. Okay. Call the first one. That the first one is probably the phone number if somebody was in the bill. Okay. Because yeah, last night they were like, just wait for the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that other number, you have to call. It's a, it's the warehouse, the main warehouse down the street. And they'll send somebody. Yeah, send somebody oh, down. Okay. That's why it was five a.m. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See, technically, see, they shouldn't even have done that. They know how they operate. Yeah. They know you guys are, don't open here till six. But no, we we can. Like I said, they gave you a five o'clock appointment, yeah, right? Yeah. So you make them stand to it. Okay. See. Call that phone number and say, I got a five o'clock appointment. Okay. Please you come. on the clock. Please come get here and get somebody. Yeah. I yeah. Just, yeah. See what I'm saying? Somebody get, go, come get it off truck. Yeah. Yeah. Let know, hey, y'all on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> Send somebody out. But see, that, that, but see, he finna change it. He get ready to change it. He gonna stop the warehouse 24. Just keep it going yeah. all night. That, that's yeah. the way we had it all the time. But when, whenever you get new management, 
Uh, new, they, ideas. Yeah. new ideas. New yeah. ideas. <laughs> they, they think it's going to work different. No, you know? just, just let the cans come in. Let them come in when they come in. You want to try to save money trying to cut corners? You know how the freight, work, the freight you know, world works. All you're doing is creating more problems for it. Tires blow, people get late. That yeah. stuff happens. Yeah, Thanks a lot. All right, man. Take care, Sorry about Dana. Hey, don't worry. Man. It's all good. Have a good one. I couldn't believe it. It updated. I was like, ah. <laughs> I think he's having a better morning now. I just, I don't know. Maybe he's just overwhelmed by the trucks. But got us unloaded. Only took him about 15, 20 minutes. So let's get back up north out of, out of uh, Florida. That was awesome. Nice meeting you, Andrew. Working for Landstar. He's got the same load. And uh, he's the only other truck out here waiting. So. Peace and peace for our buddy down here. Uh, but nice meeting you, Andrew. I said, hey man, that's my middle name. No other trucks, just that guy, so. Uh, you do come here and call the phone number, but it looks like they got new management. And uh, I didn't catch the gentleman's name in there that was unloading. He's just not having a, having a good time with new management. We all know how that goes. So peace and peace for him. And nice meeting you, Andrew. See you in the next one, brother. Coming out of Florida, guys. Um, exit six on the right-hand side. It's a cool little lake down there. Um, the food is amazing. <laughs> they have a Dominican chef right here. Let me show you this stuff. And the price on fuel is not bad either. It's 288 right now. The place across the street charges different for cash or card, but this place is just 288 card or cash. If there was a smell meter in here, oh goodness. The food is so good. It is definitely not a Chester's. Oh, man. Not hungry yet, but oh, some of that brown rice, one of those little chimichanga looking things. Yeah. Next time. Nice people in there, and I wish I was hungry. It's just too early right now. It's 8.30 to get some of that food, but oh, it's great Dominican food. A little waterway is your, uh, out of the normal uh, view at the truck stop and they gave me a free soda for uh, telling them that the place across the street charges different for cash or <laughs> card. Uh, hey man no problem he's like that's why everybody comes over here i'm like i think we just go over here because it's bigger and uh, you guys are nice so either way let's get up to savannah Ooh, there's an ss uh maybe it's an all-wheel drive sitting over there what if that's that guy's truck nice truck I love those. Well, I still love them, but yeah, yeah. You can see it right there. Focus. There you go. I think they said all-wheel drive in a rocker though when they were all-wheel drive. Still pretty cool trucks. 6.0s. Let's go. And those clouds are pretty. Had some rain today, so I did not wash the truck yesterday. But we'll see. LS Trucking. Stopped in Savannah, right past Jimmy LaRoche. La uh, anybody who's ever run Savannah knows that road. It's where like all the containers and the trucks are at. But uh, JB Hunt and Coyote are, are getting a little, I guess, fed up with my offer. So they're both kind of 
ghost in me right now, but uh, my uh, cool guy named Steven just reached out to me from Caddy, and uh, he said, hey man, I watch your videos, I just wanted to see if I could hold you and, and uh, let you know if you ever need a load run. I've been doing this for 13, 14 years, and uh, here's my number, so called him and I gave him these two loads I'm trying to work with Caddy. One of them is the exact same load I just took two days ago for a thousand back to Columbia, but I'm trying to get like 1200 now, um, just because of how long it took for that uh, receiver to get it off, off the truck. So he's working that one. And then here, look at this progression of JB Hunts. When they send you emails saying, unfortunately it's not yours or, or a load disappears from another broker, do not think that another, uh, that was booked with somebody else. They have the time to push it back and they call it bouncing. So uh, this load right here was from last week. Look at the Charlotte one. Um, what is it, Savannah to Charlotte? Or no, no, Beach Island to Charlotte. I bid on it last week and they told me somebody else got it, but it's back up again. It just kind of proves your point that it's not, um, always true when they say someone else got it so there's a couple loads from jb hunt but they're not working it either and then there's loads going from uh, charleston to anderson which are right by my house um there's five of those loads this morning and they dropped it down to two and then they bounced them all to the next day except one and then they bounced that one to the next day then they brought it back to the day so it's all a game know your worth stay, stick your guns and uh bid these loads according to where they're going what time they pick up if they have bad reviews if it's a good easy pickup drop and it's going where you want to go and, and it's listed properly or, or in your ballpark then there you go but a lot of time it's all negotiations and uh making your truck work for you don't work for your truck all right let me get into pilot and uh there are so many police out today too pulling over like everybody i got a couple of my film there's like four more and then there's these really cool new hummers um i don't know what they're called anybody comment on them i saw maybe eight to ten of them um different kind of guns and or radars on top of them all covered up going uh, southbound on 95 towards Jacksonville. So what are those called? Those new Hummers with the big old mirrors, huge tires, look like a, a toy, but pretty cool. All right, let's get some drink. So Steven just gave me a call back and said, I'm not getting anywhere with these customer reps. They're not even answering the phone, so. Well, I had a 10.30 appointment. It is exactly 10.30 now. So we are gonna go ahead and um, keep rolling up 95. Savannah's a great market, but I really wanna get home. So I'm gonna try to get close to Columbia, maybe get something out of Charleston, or just go home. It's time, so. Fire up, get on home. Poor guy, his trailer just disintegrated, or his tire. And there you go, took out the, uh, <clears throat> the side skirt too. It's the problem with pulling those JB Hunts or doing power only, guys, I'll tell you about this. Um, you don't know what that trailer's been through, with what curbs the last guy ran over with it, so you can check those tires, but the sidewall might be weak. Uh, I think poor guy, it was kind of crazy because I saw the whole truck shift left, I thought he was gonna swerve around something. But uh, then the tire blew about two seconds after, so the tire just let go on. Be careful power only though. Make sure if you are gonna do it, uh, I guess the Amazon trailers, maybe since they're so new, most of them now, they're gonna be getting older. And when the maintenance isn't kept up, that's what happens. So put you on the side of the road, put you out a day sometimes. I don't know how long a day's tire gotta get out there. Something to think about. Well then. Let's get back home to these babies. See what the heck they're doing. The trees are growing. Getting some foliage. 
and the birds are chirping. So yeah, today was a crazy day for loads. I got still have CH Robinson kind of looking for me, my broker guy. Um, but I need to get home. It's been a while. See what these babies are doing. And I have to put a TV up. So I might go live right there and do it. Uh, don't forget the PS5 giveaway has started. Uh, no keywords yet, but I will drop one soon. And check out that click, that link description below, that little arrow, and uh, enter to win. No purchase necessary. Oh, we're open. Dada! Hi, Dada! baby. What's up, dude? Uh, What's up, Cash? I'm Mario. Whoa, are you playing Mario? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <sighs> What's in the toy room? We the whole you cleaned the whole room. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cash, what's up in the upstairs with the toy room? <laughs> Something. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this TV up. Show me, dude. What is it? Pilot Logistics <laughs> finally showed up, so cool. Let's we'll see if this thing. My biggest thing is hopefully it has screws for the. What, baby? You want to push that button? Okay. I just hope that they uh, gave you the hardware, otherwise it won't hold on to the bracket. Okay, I'll, I'll hold you. <sighs> oh, you want to push those? Oh. oh. Ah. Hi, baby. Oh, sorry. What's Hi, going on? Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Got that home. And our new uh, fuel sending unit came. Yeah. Come on, Jake. Come on, come on, Jake. Says, come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Let's get this um, TV in there. I had a little bit of an emotional uh, time putting that out here. Yeah? yeah? He's not using it no more, huh? I mean, all three of them. Teak. 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 Yeah, this was the uh, high chair for all three. Like the OG. You gotta like, make it like a. No. Take something off it. No. At least take off the patch. No. Peg prego. All right, let's get this TV yeah, rocking. I'm gonna turn the crib into something. I thought about that today, too. That'd be cool. Yeah. Help me with this TV? Me? Put it up. Let's do it. Oh, Tank's ready. Tank's ready. Get your TV up. Can I, sit, can I sit with you after that? So, this is what we're going from. That's, I think, what's this, 78 inches? Let's see what we got. Oh, thank you. I'll hold that for you. Okay. So we got it in, guys, without dropping it. Um, that's one of these set up your phone TVs. Or I don't know. I don't know. But I have to. Um, the mounting holes for the for the wall mounts are. There you go. These just pop off. Yeah. Okay, cool. They just don't need to take them off together. They're too deep, so the ones I have aren't long enough, so off to the hardware store, I guess. How do we get those off? They just peel it off? There you go. All right, here you go. You can put that sticky on the back. Isn't that cool? You're welcome. Wow. Wow. You going to sit here for 20 minutes and figure this out? T-dubs on the roll. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big TV, I guess. Watch all of our cinema, cinemas, cinemas. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna relax for a little bit. Watching what? Oh. What are you doing? Jumping, jumping. So you guys got a TV again. Finally, the TV from downstairs made it upstairs. We need to, we're need. we missing some uh, hardware, but something else came. We have a PS5, finally. All right, guys, that is the giveaway. T-Dubs will do a nice video on it, but um. PS5 first place and second place will be a uh, prize pack of some merchandise. God bless y'all. Check out Just Trucking Shop. We got some more parts in for the uh, 97 Chevrolet with the LS1. <sighs> and check all the links in the description. I'm going to get to some kids. Oh, diaper time. Good times. Say bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye.